There is nothing wrong with being inspired by other artists, as long as we don't copy their work and sell it as our own. Only Matisse, for example, was influenced by Japanese prints, among others, and he turned out to be one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. He approached paper cutouts in the 1940s when his health deteriorated. He called this art form drawing with scissors. You can see multiple puncture marks in his art because he has repositioned the cutout elements many times before he was satisfied with the result. His work wasn't supposed to be permanent. He aimed at evoking memories and emotions during the time when he was not able to live life at its fullest. Compositions from paper cutouts created in the final decade of his life turned out to be some of his best known art. Anna Kvecsés is a Hungarian artist creating mostly digital collages. She uses simple bright colored shapes and turns them into naive art that has a retro feel to it. It is a perfect example that sometimes less is more. Clover Robin is a mixed media artist from the UK. She combines paper collages with painting, printing and hand drawing. Her illustrations feature flowers, landscapes, animals and everyday scenes. Marie Doazon is a French illustrator and graphic designer. Her work is characterized by the use of fresh, energetic colors, mainly indigo blue and cherry red. She likes to use bold, irregular shapes and strong lines. You can find all mentioned artists and many more in my Pinterest board that contains over 60 elements. I put the link to it in the course description.